Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to the great gathering of the highly favored ones. Good morning, Chili. Good morning, Uncle Ronald. It is just great fire to be here today, to be with you, Uncle Ronald, and with all the children. Chili, if we were to ask our mothers and fathers to tell us about the most difficult thing they have ever done. I wonder what their answer would be. Maybe they will say Uncle Ronald having children, finances. Finances brings a lot of stress into the homes. Yes, Julie, the, but the most difficult thing I have done is to move house. Not moving my house from one place to another, but I lived in a house like this one, and then I moved to another house, a, another city. Have you ever moved house, Chili? Yes, Uncle Ronald, and I've learned many things while, while moving house. Firstly, it was difficult. It took days and days to pack everything and get ready to move, and especially to be sure that nothing would be broken. And it was also difficult to unpack and get everything moved into our new home. And it was difficult to leave the house we had lived in for so long, and the friends we had made in that area, Uncle Ronald. Yes, and it is also a little frightening to move into a new house and a new area to make new friends and to start all over again. Although later, it becomes quite exciting to have made that new start. And we needed a lot of time to prepare and get ready for the move. There was so much to be done in our old house. And then we had to start again and take even more time to get everything moved into their right places in our new house. Yes, and we were glad that we could be helped in our move. It was good to have a big furniture van come and collect everything, and the men from the van helped to carry the furniture and boxes out of our old house and into our new house. We could never have done it ourselves. I suppose everyone moves house at least once or twice during their lifetime, Uncle Ronald. But the Bible, God's word, tells us that we will all move house one day. Yes, Julie, when your, our life is over, you, we will move house from this earth to a place where we will live forever. I wonder where that will be, Chile. In heaven, Uncle Ronald, because the Lord Jesus told his disciples that he was going to heaven to prepare a place for them. It stands in John 14, verse 2 and 3. And he said that there would be many mansions or dwelling places or new houses waiting for them when they died and moved house from this earth to heaven and there is a dwelling place there for you boy and girl if you have trusted the lord jesus as your savior and when you die you will just move into your new house where you will live forever this move will happen very quickly but you don't need to be frightened however you do need to prepare for this move now by asking Jesus Christ to forgive your sin and be your Savior. That's all you need to do. Once you have done that, you can leave everything in the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ, the great house preparer and the good house mover. He is not only preparing you new your house, he will take you there. You do not need to be afraid of anything. But boys and girls, if you haven't trusted the Lord Jesus as your Savior, you won't be going to one of these special dwelling places. Instead, you will move house when you die to a place 
where you will be separated from God forever and ever and ever and ever. Trust the Lord Jesus today, boys and girls, and be sure of your new house in heaven. <coughs>